Okay, the ever-running eye debate. iBooks and iPads and making them cheaper or not and yada yada. Yeah. This is a growing rub between you. you. You you want to have faith in this process and that it will sign. And I, I'm... Well, look, I know what... Look, I know government's in the way. And you know what? It's just like student loans. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, Universities are expensive in this country, predominantly from the beginning of the 60s, where government started intervening and subsidizing. And what does that do? It, it guarantees a certain amount of money, which then creates just a step for all prices. Well, to begin and, and, and see, that, that you acknowledge money. that there's that much bureaucracy. This is why I'm like, no, no. When we start redoing the textbooks, we need to start with the right model, because if we don't start with the right model, we're never going to be allowed to have the right model. And it, See, what, I'm, what I'm advocating is, is really really what I kind of put, uh, witness a little bit of, of happening is like a backlash of saying, well, no, we're not going to do this. We're going to author our own stuff, and, and this is the same material anyway. And, and so a lot of times teachers do acquiesce to that. And the more and more that happens, then these things become less and less relevant, and then we are uh, breaking the process. I, I just want something to start. Because it is a pet peeve of mine, because I spent a lot of years in the university, and, I, and this was the biggest things that I could never understand. I, I, I just thought it was so criminal that, you know, I just wanted to bring a lawsuit to somebody. How can I, you make me pay $500 for a book, and then within three months, three months, and in still in condition, you want to give me 15 bucks for it? That, I, I have a real, a real rant anger. Well, but one of the things this article is pointing out, and you read it, is that technically, as things stand right now with the iBooks, in a lot of cases for a lot of students, the books actually have become more expensive because they're the uh, way it's broke up right now is not sufficiently cheaper to justify the extra cost, and it's not broke up like it should. I mean, basically, it's had the opposite effect right now. And that's it. well. There is no effect. It just started. You know what I mean, uh, okay. If this if this is the model we go with, it's going to have the opposite effect. Rather than driving costs down, it's going to drive them up. <laughs> well, the only thing that can drive them up is the is the oligarchy and more government subsidizing. I'm just hoping now if Apple. Well, no, this has nothing to do with subsidizing. This just has to do with the way everything's being priced and shipped out and everything else and the way that I book things gone. Well, doesn't it say, I thought this article when I read it, it was like, uh, the rational pricing, uh, let's see, where is that? Oh, wait, 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 Okay, the federal government helps to underwrite annual textbook price increases by baking their cost into financial aid calculations of government intervention. No wonder textbook, textbook prices rose 186% in the U.S. from 1986 to 2004. Hello again. It's our lovely and, and our, our, our neighborly, friendly federal government that just loves to, to they think they know the best. Yeah, I, I, ben, I know you hate government, but I honestly think you're uh, obsessing on the wrong part of this article. It, it, the, if you get down into like the interactive text section, it's pointing out that why you know the pricing of you know 14, uh, 15 to 20 bucks sounds good. You compare it against what the physical book could have been used for versus what the digital book could have been used for, and the reality is you're actually paying more money for the digital book. Uh, and it also brings up what I, I, I was getting at, which is basically uh, the one that has that that is actually serving to lower the cost is not the Apple approach. It's the open education resource approach of agnostic. You know tr what 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 you're a fan of. The, what, what, I, I am not advocating one company. I've always said that if one company starts, the others will compete in. It, it, it's not a monopolistic control. What, the one statement that we were No, it's an obelis obelis obelistic control as opposed to your favorite term, over-marginalizing it by making it truly open and agnostic. Yes. Uh, okay. The, uh, they don't use competition to do that. Uh, Okay, but the easiest way to do that is to use the more open agnostic solutions rather than the iBook solutions. Do that. No one's going to do that. No one. No company, not Amazon, not anybody who has publishing power is going to do that. That's just a pipe dream. But what you can have is Amazon versus Apple versus HP or whoever who wants to get involved with this that will drive the price down within their own ecosystems. 
I mean, it's, there's no one's going to be here. Yes, let me do all of this infrastructure work ahead of time, and then and then have to pay up front to, to try to warp even myself into freaking government at a loss. Well, a actually, that program's already in the government program. It's actually at the high school level. You know, doing five dollar textbooks. High school level is very different from university. Tax dollars are paying for those textbooks. There's no open initiative that is making high school textbooks cheaper other, other than the government washing funds around and putting caps on what X, Y, and Z book is going to cost and then recycling of that book. High schools are known to make books. How many times on the, on, on the news do we hear, oh, God, these books are outdated? Yeah, that's, that's a side process of making that $5 textbook because they overuse and overuse and overuse and then information never gets updated. Well, that's the one advantage to go and you know, open uh, books like this because they're digital so they don't have to get outdated. They just get updated. See, the K-12 textbooks that Apple's offering through partnerships with big textbook producers, see, now that is just helping the monopoly and having it uh, seem like a multimedia bargain at fourteen ninety nine, But the price doesn't really have a big savings to, to strap school systems. It covers just one student for one course year, not, the, not three to five years that would get it. See, but that's bullshit. See, it, that's, that's, that's what it is. See, this, they need to X this sentence out and, just, and then go shoot themselves in the head and say, yeah, that's what we really want. We want, we want books that are, uh, are outdated and we continue to, to be naive and, and uh, put our students even further behind the curve. You know, this is ridiculous. Well, the advantage uh, of an e-book, though, is it's, it's an e-book. It's, you know, it's like any software update. The, the book's updated every term. Yeah, this, this whole sentence, it covers just one student for one course year, not three to five. Oh, hello? We're not going to reuse a book for five years. Oh, my God. How many times? You know, it's like make up your mind. Either you accept that. I, I, I actually, that, it, that argument is valid because in the traditional physical books, we do use them for three to five years. That's wrong, though. Depends on the subject. No. Are you telling me you can't use an English book for five to ten years? Oh, no, because our English... Oh, my God, how many times has MLA changed? When I was when I was doing political science, we were even going over what, what new definitions came up, new words. I mean, the grammar is always constantly changing and trying to keep up. Oh, oh, try explaining that to an English teacher. That's the easiest way to get an F in any English class. Uh, explaining I that the so. English language That's changes. Oh, oh, Marcel, you have been out of school too long. You no. never explain to English teachers that grammar changes, ever. Don't do that. You will get an F. I teacher you had, but the, my university teachers, especially when it came to writing, I mean, we had to use, like, we, we, we depending on the teacher, we either had concise essays, which you had to... I have had 22 them. English teachers in my life. Of those 22 English teachers, only two would even acknowledge that grammar changes. <laughs> I think, I think that that's a, probably a problem. <laughs> I think that's a big problem, but the reality is they act like the English language is a static thing, doesn't yeah. change. Let's there be, are... Let's be, wait, let's be clear. This, don't, we shouldn't, you shouldn't defend something that... We shouldn't defend something that is a scapegoat. <laughs> They're recycling a book so long to escape a cost. That's an scapegoat. That's an excuse. We should, that shouldn't even be defended. Well, okay, but this, okay, but, but okay, no, but this, act, this is the exact one. reason. Why would we force this, to go three to five years? Well, no, no, why but bit, bit, your ebook thing isn't going to fix that if you do it the way you're wanting to, where you're going through hub companies as opposed to an open yeah, agnostic no, thing. I, no, 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 think it. about that. How many schools have the latest version of every single piece of software? It's going to be the same thing with the ebooks. Are they going to have the latest updated version of it if it's not agnostic? Or are they going to have a version that, oh, well, that's okay. We bought that textbook three years ago and it's loaded on all the school iPads. <laughs>